Okay, we've got our patient. She had surgery a week ago. She had outpatient plastic surgery, and she's back for her Doppler examination. And we're going to examine the deep veins of her lower extremities. And we're going to start proximal and image the common femoral vessels, femoral, including the deep femoral vein, popliteal vessels, and the calf vessels, both the posterior tibial and the perineal. And Julie is going to show us uh, how it's done. Julie? When we check for deep vein thrombosis or DVT, we check or we start at the common femoral vein, which is right next to the common femoral artery at the proximal thigh. We first show that the vein compresses, showing that there is no thrombus in the vein. And as we go distally, we will see the greater saphenous junction coming off the common femoral vein. I'm going to show that compressing. And then we keep going distally on the thigh. And we're at the bifurcation of the superficial femoral and the deep femoral vein. And we'll show it, both of them compressing here. They are deep to the artery and we follow the femoral vein down the thigh distally. Just pressing as we go along to show that there is not thrombus in the vein. And then we will move to the popliteal vein behind the knee. I'll show it compressing. Now it is is superficial to the artery. You can see the artery pulsing. I usually follow it distally towards the calf where they bifurcate. I'm going to move on to the calf veins and show them compressing now. We make sure first that the posterior tibial veins are compressing. There's two of them. Deep to those are the perineal veins. And we're going to make sure those compress as well. So I follow these down to distally to the ankle, making sure they compress all the way. Now that all my veins are compressing, I can start my color fill pictures and my pulse wave Doppler pictures. We first make sure that the veins show nice color fill. The posterior tibial veins first. I'm going to turn my pulse wave Doppler on. I put my sample volume in the middle of the vein to get a nice waveform. And then I do my proximal and distal augmentations. And this shows that there is good flow in the vein and no blockages. I do the same thing with my perineal veins. Showing nice color fill. Do my augmentation again. You can see the spike in the waveform showing that augmentation. Now I move back up to my popliteal vein. So nice color fill, no defects where there could be thrombus. Turn my pulse wave on again, do my augmentation.
making sure I get a nice spike with each augmentation. And then we just keep going proximal to the thigh. Nice color fill. Augmentation. A nice spike again for each. And now we're back to the common femoral vein. I'm going to turn my color Doppler on and show my nice color fill here. And then my pulse wave Doppler. I'll do my proximal augmentation first. And then my distal. Got a nice spike for each. And then lastly, we just like to show the basicity of the venous blood flow with respiration. This makes sure that there is not any thrombus in the iliac vein or proximal to this section we're in now. Have you take a deep breath in for me. See that it slows the blood flow down and breathe out. And it comes back. And that would conclude our Doppler study.